So today I got in front of me the iPad, just iPad, 2019 model, so this is the 128 gig. Not that that's really gonna make a difference, but I just wanna let you know which one exactly that I'm using. And just like it says in the title, what we're gonna do is try to do 4K video editing on this using Adobe Rush. So in the last video that I made about the Galaxy Tab S6, I was able to 4K video edit on there and everything ran pretty smoothly aside from a rendering issue. But what I wanna do now is test it on here, mainly because again, this is the only iPad I have available to me, but the concept here would be, are you able to actually edit and make videos on an iPad and actually make it up to 4K? Now, one thing as I set this up that I want you guys to know is that I already pre-recorded a bunch of clips and not only that, but I actually decided to record them in 4K, but in already an MP4 format, only because I don't wanna go through the whole thing of having to capture it raw, re-render it. If we already learned in the last video that that's not capable, because Rush does not recognize CRM files. But all right, the timeline's open, so let's go ahead and scrub. So the first thing I wanna do is scrub, mainly because when you scrub through footage, it is important to know if you're able to keep up, or if the software is able to keep up with it. Uh, that way you can constantly see what it is that you're editing. So we're gonna scrub up here. And right away already, this is actually very smooth. Uh, that's a stationary shot. Okay, we can see the llama. Another stationary shot. All right, now I'm just gonna quickly scrub through really fast. All right, so from here though, I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple cuts, uh, put something together, and then we'll do some color grading and some other stuff after that. All right, so I just put a bunch of stuff together. It's nothing very consistent, uh, but I gotta say already, so scrubbing through footage is a breeze, and I really, really like that, uh, as well as being able to easily see what it is that I'm gonna cut and just make the jump cuts really quick. But now what we're gonna do is do just a tad bit of color grading. Not that the video needs it, but more just to see, again, how this is capable of doing that and if it holds up well, but based on what I'm seeing, this is gonna be pretty much a breeze. So let's go ahead and Go ahead and check through these presets here, see if anything, oh, that's actually kind of cool. Look, I gotta be honest, I'm just doing a bunch of presets on this thing. It's, again, it's just, just to test the strength. It's nothing scientific. All right, well, I guess since I added what little color grading I needed, what we're gonna do now is add music. So I'm gonna go ahead and import the music. Be right back after that. Now I gotta say, because I already made the previous video and actually learned Rush, this is actually pretty much a breeze to edit. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and click play. Let's see how the playback works after the color grading, the cuts, as well as adding music. And let's take a look. Wow, so the playback is incredible. So one thing I'm definitely gonna suggest here for anyone that's interested in using this as well as for like editing and just as an everyday maybe carry as a tablet, this seems to be already a pretty well device to do editing and I'm actually just kind of surprised because like nowadays you know how we punch out or push out a lot of new technology a lot of new CPUs and a lot of new just tech in general the fact that this iPad can still hold up and edit 4k have color grading on it have music playing you can scrub through it as well as being able to play it back what appears to be in full like frame rate that it was recording in that is very impressive. Considering that there's a couple computers out there that cost quite a bit more than this and can't even handle 4K, this is why I'm saying this is actually really cool. Now, I think one challenge that I might wanna do later on, considering that I'm really understanding how well this works, would be maybe actually editing a full video just to see if I'm capable of doing that and then also the benefits and drawbacks of doing it here as opposed to doing it on my actual computer with the you know much more powerful software that it has. So the last thing I wanna do on this is to export this, keep the settings the same, and just see how long it takes to export as well as seeing if there's gonna be any bugs considering the Galaxy Tab S6 had a nasty bug in it the last time I rendered. All right, so let's get this going. So I think I go to share, quality settings, keep it automatic. So we're doing 4K, 29.97 frames. And let's go ahead and click export. Wow, so, all right, that surprised me. But this goes to show also how well Apple's chips work in general because this just took two minutes at most to render when the Galaxy Tab S6 actually took roughly about 10 minutes to export the last video that I did. Now the question remains because like I said, since this is pretty much unscientific, I didn't use the exact same footage, I didn't cut it and use the exact same stuff that I did on the last one. But the point is that, you know, Apple's chips are really good at like using multi-core software and utilizing all its cores to really export and do multi-threaded stuff. And exporting requires that because the more cores you have, the better you usually export your files. And this, 
Wow, that was actually really fast. Or actually, before I continue, let's go ahead and watch this video because now we're gonna play it back, make sure the exporting came out correctly because again, the tab actually had it bugged last time I did it, so let's take a look. Okay, I gotta say this off the bat. I am a little conflicted now because when it came to using this iPad as opposed to the Galaxy Tab S6, I was very adamant on why I chose the Galaxy Tab S6 because not only is it a great media consumption device because of the speakers, the display, I think if I were to actually edit and use this a lot more for editing, I would use the iPad as opposed to the Tab S6. So I gotta say, when it comes to the final verdict, can you actually edit 4K footage on this? Of course you can. And I'm not too surprised, that's kind of what I figured the results were gonna be, but I'm stumped on the fact that now I'm actually interested in using this for editing and not the tab. And I think I would rather use my tablet now as just a media consumption thing, but this might be a better workhorse device. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm genuinely surprised. But at the end of the day, guys, this is gonna be up to you. So can you actually edit on here? You can, do you want to? I'm gonna say what I said last time. I mean, if you really wanna do more when it comes to editing, obviously you might wanna use a computer and actually use Adobe and whatever other software you want, but for just quick stuff, this is actually really good. I think what I will do now, because if I'm feeling this way about this tablet, I might wanna try to actually edit a full video, try to get it to as close as how I normally edit my videos, and then just go from there and see what I think. But thank you guys for watching this video. Now, if you have any questions, any concerns, leave it down in the comment section. I could easily make follow-up videos, which I'm thinking of doing that now because I wanna experiment a little more. But if you have any questions about uh, an editing tip when it comes to using this or what would make the workflow better, just let me know down below. But above all, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you got something to say, leave it down in the comment section. And if you're new, hi, welcome. My name's Civil. Civil Spider Studios is the name of the channel. Hopefully you enjoy. I normally don't plan out these outros and I'll see you guys in the next one.